are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing excellent. Right. Um, before we get to start talking, I have to give a huge thank you. The only reason Collider gets to be at Toronto uh, and cover this fantastic film festival is uh, because of our sponsors. Mm -hmm. I want to give a huge thank you to Nordstrom Canada. Yes. Thank you for providing this opportunity. That's thank it. You. That's all I have. And right we're on. done. Okay. Right. No. Um, <laughs> so, uh, first of all, uh, I, a million things I want to talk to you about. Sure. So, I'm going to start with the, the first thing being... When you signed on to The Boys, mm. did you have any idea that that show was going to explode the way it did? Uh, interesting question. Not exactly, but I had a spidey sense when I was reading these scripts. I, was, I hadn't felt that way about anything I'd read. Where I was like, there's something really special going on here. This is funny. It's dark. It's, it's complex. There's like a total allegory for the world we live in right now. So because of those reasons and then the great vibes on set, I was like, okay, we're, there's some magic happening here for yep. sure. So I saw, like everyone, like I, I watched episode one and I, <laughs> I was not prepared for things that were going to happen. Mm -hmm. And when things, I don't want to spoil anything for the people that have actually not seen it yet. You should really watch The Boys. It's fucking awesome. It's so good. Um, sorry for the language. No. Uh, but when what happens to your character in that first episode, I was like, what? Yeah. I had never, I've seen a lot. I'd never seen anything like that. Yeah. So. I think that the way that they pl they wrote the scene, the way they shot it, it really was a shock. Even when I, I saw it at Tribeca, that's where it premiered. And even I was like, oh my God, right. That happens right there. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, I, Dan Trattenberg did the pilot mm -hmm. and I'm just curious what do you remember about working with Dan because you're setting that first episode you are setting up everything right. so it's like you don't really know what ev you know what I mean totally everything from everything like yeah. the tone and the feel of the show yeah so what was it like when you were filming Dan was the best honestly I had chemistry I had a chemistry read with Jack with Jack Quaid and it was just me Jack and Dan in a room together and Dan the whole time was like just ad lib forget the lines just have fun like in, and so me and Jack were probably in that room for like an hour just messing around. It was it was the best. And then on set, he still set the same precedent where it was like, you know, just crack jokes. It's all good. And Seth Rogen was there that day because he's the EP on it. And it just that was the that was the energy. Sure. In that on that set, it was amazing. How he just trusted us. Sure. How nervous do you get? the night before a chemistry read or the night before you're meeting with some big casting director, do you sleep the night before? Uh, <laughs> it depends. That one, I was deathly ill. Like, I, I was so scared I wasn't going to be able to make it. Like, I was, like, in the bathroom, possibly going to puke right before. And uh, somehow I made it through. And because I was sick, I think I was just, like, whatever. Do you know what I mean? Sure. Like, I, I couldn't get anxious about it because I was just trying to keep myself from vomiting everywhere <laughs> so but i mean sometimes like i get less nervous now to be honest got it yeah okay. well you just you just know that doesn't really matter there's no right or wrong you just have to trust yourself sure completely yeah um obviously and i don't know if you are or aren't i don't know if you're allowed to say but uh uh they're filming obviously season two right now is there any flashbacks that you get to be mm. involved with are you allowed to say? Because uh, they film I'm in Toronto, I think. I'm probably allowed to say. I, I'm not in any flashbacks this next season. Okay, got it. Um, yes. You're busy with other stuff. You're going to land mm -hmm. on your feet. Yeah. You're okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, okay, so let's talk about to the Toronto Film Festival. You okay. have a short film yes. that is here. Yes. No one will have seen it. Who's? I mean, cause you know <laughs> what I mean. 99% of the people watching will not have seen yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So let's do the generic and say what it is, what it's about. Sure, yeah. Um, the short's called Volcano. And it is about two women who are friends discussing relationships. And one of them is, there's an abusive quality in her relationship. And it's kind of about how, how good we are at lying to ourselves, that everything's okay. And creating this facade and this illusion to our friends, to our family, that, that we, got it, we got it going on, but really everything's falling apart inside, so about that <laughs> right if i'm not mistaken the you and the other person hannah what, hannah cheeseman right i believe aren't are your, your characters are called by your real names yeah right so was that in the script or they just said was, it, um well we know the writer we both have a relationship with the writer we've both worked on shows that she's written for okay so i think she had us in mind when she was writing it got it okay yeah. so you got a script that mm -hmm. was handed to you did she say to you 
So you're, like, did she say that your character's name is obviously you? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's like, Jess, you're playing Jess. I'm like, I think I, think I got it. Okay, right. Cool. How early on did you know that this thing was coming, or was it a surprise? Um, it was, I probably knew, like, a few months before, but it was really quick turnaround to it getting in TIFF. We shot it in May. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. And then she's like, oh, I got into TIFF. And we're like, whoa, okay, awesome. Yeah. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm just thinking about that. That, that, that. that doesn't happen. No, I mean, I shot a feature last winter, January, February, that got into TIFF as well. And that was even crazier because it, it was a full-length feature. Um, but yeah, people, right. people we wanted should, it in We should festival. plug that as well. It's called Mouthpiece. Um, it's beautiful. It opened, it was one of the films that opened the festival last year. And it's part of why I was a TIFF Rising star last year. Ooh. And, um, <laughs> right, exactly. Last year. <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, yeah, it's beautiful. It's you can get it on iTunes now. But and I've heard uh, of this iTunes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That whole thing. Right um, on the internet. Right. I'm jumping in. I'm already jumping into the next thing because I said yeah. I have a lot to go yeah, through. Yeah, yeah. So I absolutely love the Expanse. Oh. Love. Yes. I mean, I want to stress the word love, and I can't stress that word hard enough. Yeah. So um, I heard that you have a big role in this upcoming season. Yeah. Um, so what are you allowed to say? About your role? Um, I play, my character's name is Chandra Way. Uh, she is a character in the books, but she's expanded in the TV show. Um, I am from Earth, and I am involved in an organization that's trying to uh, colonize a new planet. Um, yeah, I was going to say that I, I haven't read the books, but yeah. and I got I saw the commenters basically come at me for talking about things in the upcoming season or asking questions that are in the books. Right. But some of us haven't read them all. True. So the thing, but I, I talked to the cast at Comic-Con. Nice. And they all said that, like, the big set of this year, that say this year is the first season that they're going outdoors. Yeah. And it's that planet. Yeah. So. We shot for months yeah, they, in a quarry that looks genuinely like another planet. Right. They said to me that that's a huge, like, because the last season ended in such a way that this season is radically different. Yeah. Um, so I guess... Are you the antagonist? Yeah, of, you could say that. Right, got it. Yeah, you could say that. Um, there's a lot of things going on. I'm very uh, close with some members of the Rossi crew, but I'm also, uh, yeah, kind of an enemy. Sure. I, a frenemy. I, I understand. <laughs> um, I, I Listen, I think that that show is, is so well done. Mm-hmm. What is it like coming on to something that's a well-oiled machine and then becoming like an integral part of this show it was intimidating honestly it was intimidating because i had it was a pretty quick turnaround i'd been doing comedy all summer um got cast on the show pretty quick and had like wrapped some web series and literally four days i'm you know on this crazy set with like a hundred background behind me wielding a weapon (laughs) i'm like what is happening do i remember how to do this um yeah, but it was the because the cast works so well together and yes, this is a well-oiled machine. You trust everything that's going on. Like everyone's got you. Sure. You know, and there's such a clear vision for the show and we always had one of the writers on set um that you yeah, you you knew what what was happening. When you signed on, did you know cuz I think you're in like a lot of the episodes. Mm-hmm. Did you know when you signed on it was going to be so many episodes? Um, originally when I auditioned, it wasn't. And then when I got the offer, yes, I knew. I knew that I was going to be in like nine, uh, nine out of the ten. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. First of all, congrats on booking the gig. Thanks. Second of all, because I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. But I, I cannot wait. It's, it, seriously, that season is really, really great. It's cool. It's so cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm very curious. You're going to see some different sides of some people. And, sure. Well, yeah. I'm also curious because this is the first year that Amazon, you know, they saved yeah. it. Yeah. And so I'm curious... What being saved by Amazon, like, did that help the budget? Did that, like, what did it do? I like, honestly don't know if it reflected that much in the budget, but we know that the promo is yes. going to be totally different. Whereas sci-fi, I'm not sure if they, I don't know how much they invested in they, that. About a dollar fifty. Sure. Yeah, and a roll of duct tape. Sure. <laughs> That's fine. You know? The, yeah, exactly. I think that was, like, the whole issue. But um, Amazon, as you can see with the boys and the way that it's promoted that, we, I think we can anticipate like a big yeah, I think send off. 
yeah, listen, anything I, I'm, I'm already excited that they greenlit another season, uh, which is mm-hmm. fantastic. Um, listen, I, I totally want to talk more expanse, but I know that we're so guarded on, you know, yeah, but yeah. so if I'm not mistaken, let's move into the next thing, which is yeah. why uh, you got, I believe it's Jupiter's Legacy on yeah. Netflix. Yeah. So, I mean, have you taken a break b- in, at all in the last year? Actually, I have because I got a concussion in the spring, so I was off for like four months. What did yeah. you, was you in like a car accident or on a movie no, set? No, it or was on a, on a set. It was on a set. It's all good. It's all good. It was like nobody's fault. It was a total accident. I had had a concussion before, so it gets aggravated. It got aggravated easily. Um, but anyway, yeah, I was off for four months. I, I was going to go to L.A. didn't. I just like stayed put. And so that, w- that gave me a break. Like I had no choice. Sure. That's, That's first of all, scary. Yeah. Second of all, um, I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, me too. It took a while. Yeah. that That's like... It's <laughs> My heart goes out to people with brain injuries. It's like... Oh. It's weird. No, it's, it's real scary. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so for real. I. Okay, but we, I've gone off mm. on a tangent. So, But Jupiter's legacy... Yes. Uh, obviously, health is more important than anything. Uh, but into Jupiter's legacy... Yeah. That is another, if I'm not mistaken, superhero show. Yeah, it's just based on a comic book. Totally. Mark um, Millar. Yeah, absolutely. Or Mark Millar. I Mark Millar. Yeah, that's I don't, how I've been hearing yeah. you say it. Um, so talk a little bit about who you play. Sure. And I, I think you're a villain, or yeah, in this season, yeah, you could say that for right? sure. <laughs> um, uh, I, my character's name is Shockwave. That's her, her super villain name, um, and she's so rad. We're in this crew of kind of misfits, that um, they're criminals. Um, I don't know how much more I can say than yeah, that. Yeah, I don't want to get you in trouble. But, uh, but yeah, it's it's been a blast. I was just filming it this week. I'm sorry. I'm filming two shows at the same time, so I'm like, which one? Yeah, this week. That and That's very challenging. Mm-hmm. But really fun. So different. So many different things. Uh, what's the other thing you were filming? Are you I'm allowed on to say? a show called Tiny Pretty Things. Yeah. Oh, yes. I, that's another yeah. thing that was on my little you know, yeah. thing. Yeah. I'm, uh, that one's actually also based on a book series called tiny pretty things um about some really like weird culty messed up ballet school (laughs) and anyway my character is a uh the cop that's investigating uh that quote unquote crime that happened there that is so you going back and forth between playing a villain and a cop yeah yeah It's, it's hilarious and and last week i had to shoot both shows in the same day and i was like sending my family pictures i'm like cop and then like there's a really rough like totally messy villain and anyway it th- that's why i love my job that's the stuff that makes me love it completely mm-hmm. when do you think uh people are going to get their first glimpse of jupiter's legacy i think people are saying uh like fall 2020 oh wow so it's like far away it's the biggest show that Tor- ever been in toronto like it's like it's a big machine and there's so much if people have read the comic books they know that there's different time periods and it's just a big beast of, of a series What's it's crazy because um, you I keep on thinking and I've thought for years that like you know what will it take for the superhero genre which I love and everyone who watches and reads Collider huge fans of but you figure at some point it's going to slow down but in actuality it's still speeding up Mm-hmm. Like, it's it's the most popular thing on the planet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, I think also what's interesting about something like The Boys and about Jupiter's Legacy is that it kind of turns it on its head a little bit, where you see that these people have fallibilities, and they're not necessarily to be put up on this pedestal all the time as, like, the moral compass of our culture or um, people that only have pure intentions. Like, they're really humanized, and I think that's what the superhero genre needed. It needed something like that. It needed sure. it to be more human. But also, the truth is, you can only do so much on, like, CW or ABC. Sure. There's only I so just, many stories you can say. True. Yeah. The fact is, once you mix in unrated, you know, or R-rated, mm-hmm. there's a lot of other things you can do. And when you're willing to show blood and guts, it opens a door. Yeah. And, and that's actually what I wanted to, uh, one of my last things on Jupiter's Legacy, with the boys, which really pushed... Does Jupiter's legacy also push? Mm-hmm. I think so. Right. I can see the <laughs> smile. You're like, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think so. Right. Um, listen, I can't wait. Uh, but uh, I really mean it when I say um, uh, congrats. Thank you. On 
all these things you're a part of, and I really can't wait to go more in depth once I've seen The Expanse and once I've seen some yeah. of these other things, if you know what I mean. I'd love to chat with you when that comes out because oh, I'm so like eager to, to talk about it. <laughs> I, I really can't wait. It was, uh, I believe it was one of, it is either our highest or one of our highest interviews like in terms of views uh, from Comic Con when I had cool. that cast, oh, like right it on. was very, very like way bigger than I expected. Yeah. So I mean, I, there's a huge audience. Yeah. You know. On mm -hmm. that note, thank you so much for stopping thank by. Thank you. Thank and, you. And um, I say thanks. Thank um, you.